Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator and in this video, well, we are going to talk about this interesting article released by MCV Develop, which I had no idea what these guys were, so I had to make some research, so MCV Develop apparently is a trade uh, magazine that focuses on business aspects of the video game industry, uh, they've been around since 1998 and the total circulation uh, 10,065. That is uh, uh, not a lot. Uh, I have no idea because I'm not a, a native English speaker, so I have to figure out here what, what does that mean. And here these are the, how many how many copies a particular publication uh, distributed here. So uh, 10,000, I mean, even since uh, they started in 1998 and here they say 2009, so even in 10 years, 10,000 is really not a lot. Just to give you an idea, guys. About a decade ago, uh, I had my own magazine that I published every three months uh, with a uh, with a with a partner, and we were printing twenty thousand issues each, uh, each each trimester. And even with twenty thousand issues, when we were asking for uh, partnerships, commercial partnerships with advertisers, they were telling us that we were we were too small to work for them. So I can't, I, I don't understand what their business model is. But anyway, uh, that being said, let's have a look at what they are saying. And this is Carl Jones here, which we don't see that often. Carl Jones is apparently the COO, Chief Operating Officer of Cloud Imperial Games. He is based in the UK. And this is what he says here. In October 10th, uh, there will be a decade since, uh, crowd, since, uh, since Cloud Imperial Games will have started their campaign. And obviously, you know, yada, 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 422 millions. We know that. Not much of a big news here. But some interesting tidbits of impression that he says, especially the way that uh, he foresees the future of Star Citizen, I think is very interesting. Uh, especially, you know, with the fact that they are opening a studio, a new, they're expanding their studio uh, and the reasons for that. And by the say that by the, by the year of 2027, which is five years from now, they believe here, I think that Bandai Time will be opening a very large MMORPG. That's what he says. Uh, very bold statement here because you know as, as of 2022 right now we are very far from uh, being a very large MMORPG uh, we are still limited to 50 server 50 people per servers and the servers are themselves uh, all sp all split we do not have interaction uh, with other people in different servers and because we are lacking the current technology right now we don't have server meshing which hopefully we're going to have a glimpse of it by the end of this year but uh, people uh, should uh, people are saying that we should expect that for next year i guess time will tell right so uh, bold, uh, bold expectations here. But again, uh, this magazine is not for the general public. This magazine, I believe, is for professionals. So that's why uh, they are focusing here on the long-term vision and not necessarily what's going to happen soon, right? Uh, here, they they give us further explanation of why they're opening new uh, studio, including the fact that uh, they want to have a larger capacity. They hired a lot of people during the pandemic when people were actually working from home. And the problem, of course, is that uh, when you are working from home, when people have to work from home, studios don't need to have a large office because, well, by definition, people are from home. But now people are starting to come back from the work from home situation, from the whole work from home environment. And they realize that their uh, current uh, studio, especially the one in Willsmore in near Manchester, is uh, way overcrowded. Not everybody has a place, so it's quite cramped. And that's why they need to have these, um, they need to have more room and improved uh, and, and larger studios, right? So what about Squadron 42? Well, uh, we also have the confirmation that Chris Roberts is going, well, we already knew that Chris Roberts was going back to the UK, but we have the confirmation that Chris Roberts is going back to the UK to finish Squadron 42 here. Again, according to uh, according to, jo to Jones here, which is again, the chief operating officer 
of uh, of Cloud Imperial Games. He believes that Squadron 42 will still need a year or two. And again, based on what we've always heard from the staff at CIG, uh, when they gave us estimations like that, it's always optimistic. So um, maybe two years or three, right? Because plus on top of that, we also know that Chris Roberts is uh, a perfectionist. He wants everything to be absolutely meticulously uh, perfect as he wishes. And perhaps for the very first time in his life, he actually does have the means to do so, which also explains why it takes such a long time. Uh, he also uh, confirmed that Squadron 42 it's not just a shooter, but he it's also going to be a cinematic experience. So something that, that we're not... I can't think of any other cinematic experience type of game that, that, that I have played. So um, that, 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 that leaves me very uh, interested uh, for sure. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Uh, let's talk about the giveaway, right? Let me know in the comment section down below uh, to, get to, to get a chance to win uh, quite a few things here. Uh, this month, obviously, uh, we have uh, first a Nargo Raft with LTI as well as a Spartan with LTI as well. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, to get to win. Uh, <laughs> oh, why is it not loading? It's always like, oh, there it is, Saturday. Give it was January giveaway. There we go. <laughs> it's popping here. Uh, so uh, answer, the question, answer the question that I'm asking right here. Have you ever played a cinematic experience as a video game if so uh, what game was it let me know in the comment section down below i would like to know also uh, if you want to go the extra mile and support me on patreon or via, uh, via the youtube joint membership we also have a cut less steel to give away thanks to dr forbin make sure you're also in public setting and subscribe to the channel all right let's go back to uh, our article here and uh, so yeah that's basically the timeline according to uh, to mr jones here carl jones uh one to two years but we should expect that uh, a little bit more plus we also have the confirmation that it's not just going to be this quadrant 42 that we're talking about but also the sequels it's been stated since almost the beginning that squadron, the squadron 42 that they're working on is actually episode one uh, or i forgot which exact term they're talking about uh, but uh, there's going to be more episodes uh, than, than than this one as well so uh, it, it's it's not much of a surprise uh, that uh, that they're saying is but again not everybody is following uh, star citizen on the daily basis. not everybody is following all the news that they are having so that's why I'm making this video uh, just to keep everybody up to date on what is uh, going on here uh, so here they are confirming here that right now they do have studios uh, all over the place about 700 and 50 staff worldwide so that is very impressive indeed and this is just the beginning here Carl Jones does explain that uh, because they are not just making the game but they are also publishing the game at the same time they do not have a publisher they are the publisher then they also have to hire uh, a lot of people for the whole uh, game as a service type of aspect which normally developers don't do that that's the publisher that's the publisher that, that does take care of that so that's why also uh, they are going to have to expand not just making the game keeping on developing the game but also maintaining the game and making sure that the game is an enjoyable service for everybody around the world we've also had a very interesting uh, detail piece of detail here regarding uh, speaking of around the world and game uh, making it as a service we have for the first time i think i've never had any uh, any other i can't remember any other statement from cig telling us that on the long term we are finally going to have more regional servers this is something that uh, car jones did talk about in the article and i thought that, that i was really happy here because i live in taiwan and it's basically in the middle of nowhere when it comes to uh, enjoying Star Citizen servers. Uh, I'm stuck between US and Austrian servers and both of them are very far from where I live. They did mention that they do have plans on the long term to have servers in Southeast Asia and maybe other regions as well. And that is fantastic because where I live, 
Uh, usually the ping that I have is, you know, 200 ish, uh, which is really, really bad, right? I'm experiencing a lot of desync, a lot of lag. Uh, some people, you know, when I, <laughs> when I, when I play with other, with, with other people online, when I stream, people are, uh, complaining about it and it's really not my fault. It's just, there are just no servers where I live and I'm glad that they did, uh, I'm glad that they did talk about it. Unfortunately, there was no mention of uh, of uh, theaters of war, so I think that this was. Um, I mean, it's, I'm glad that it, that we had a little bit of news regarding Squadron 42, obviously, but no mention regarding theaters of war, and I thought that this was quite unfortunate, unfortunately. So there we have it, guys. Not that much, uh, not that much news uh, if you are following uh, Star Citizen on a regular basis, but uh, if you are not, that, that's an interesting article about the future. Of Star Citizen. They also confirmed that Star Citizen is not going to be a metaverse, right? They call it the verse, but it has nothing to do uh, with the metaverse here. Uh, it's just going to be a very large uh, MMO with a very large playable environment, but it's not going to be a recreation of real life, right? And obviously, no, uh, no, no NFTs. No, we, we're not going to go towards that direction. So I think personally, that's that's kind of reassuring, right? Anyway, guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to read the article. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much to Dr. Fabian again and Eric Ohm. Have This is the Riley Killer. I'll see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs, and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.